All right, so what is it like to be on a show that is such a love fest? I mean, people love your show, including myself. But, you know, how is that just to hear from the fans and out there? Well, mostly we're trying to figure out how to spread it to the parts of the world that are not in the love fest. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's really, it's nice. I mean, it's, it's gratifying in the way that, you know, there, there seems to be a, a paradox typically with productions, and most especially with pilots, that if they go smoothly and everyone really enjoys one another, they're doomed to fail. Um, fortunately, we had a deeply challenging pilot um, and an insane schedule in which we had to deliver it. Since then, I wouldn't say it's been easy, but the, the joy of the show has really been the, the talent that's associated with it. And so the fact that people are enjoying the show, I mean, it's hugely gratifying for us because we're enjoying doing it so much. Yeah, and now speaking of the fans, you know, does it create pressure then to want to just keep the momentum going, knowing that people are so watching it carefully? You know, I it, I don't think so. No, it doesn't. Um, there, the show has a lot of smarts behind it, has a lot of talent behind it, but it's an enormous amount of luck behind it. There is a kismet in the whole thing. You'd be amazed. So many of our problems, we fall forward. Uh, it's just this time and space in this group of people. I think if there's a fear involved, and it's not one that we ever really um, follow in, it's, it's assuring that we don't stay in place. I mean, you know, there, the risk, particularly for a network show, is saying, well, we're glad season one went as it did, but we're not going to live there in season two. And that can make networks a little uneasy. I think there was a great trust and faith, if not enthusiasm, in what Robert and Michelle were writing to say, you know what, you're on a good line, let's not inhibit you. And, and we've been very grateful for that. And how challenging is that for? From a writing standpoint, to service all the characters, you guys have such a great ensemble, making sure everybody gets a little piece, you know, as much if as there, possible. If there's something that gives us any agenda, it is feeling that we aren't delivering on the enormous talent and promise of the, the actor ensemble that we have. I mean, it's something we're very cognizant of in terms of making sure that each of our principals and this fantastic, you know, sort of recurring cast we have not only get their their moment, but but that their characters continue to, to really evolve and twist in a way that's going to be challenging for them. Um, because sure, it's fun for them to come play uh, with one another, and nothing excites us more to put an actor in front of another actor, and they're equally sort of peaked to work with one another. But you know, you want to make sure that that they're as intrigued with where the character's going, where the story's taking them, as you know, hopefully the audience. Okay. Now it's, uh, and I must say, it is the act, the ensemble is incredibly generous. They they could not uh, make sure everybody enjoyed themselves more on the show. Yeah. and had more screen time. So you never hear any of that, oh, your part is this, or it's like, oh, they they just give to each other constantly. Off camera as well. Okay. And now, are you guys already plotted out through the end of this season? Do you kind of know where things are going? Well, we were, up until an hour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we plot and then we revise and then we discover. I mean, I think part of, part of the steam challenge of the show is that, especially with the shooting on the East Coast, there's there's, there's sort of a benefit to the separation in that we get to discover what they've done. We get to discover what, what Brooke and the directors and the actors have found on set in those scenes, get to watch those, get to look at the cuts, and then that reflects itself back in the writing. And so I, I think probably the trickiest part of the show is that we can never get too far ahead of ourselves. In some ways you're you're affecting the overall alchemy of, of, of the product by trying to work one piece in isolation from the other. So what they're doing is informing us and vice versa. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Have fun tonight. It's great.